Hey, welcome back to my channel. Got a quick tip here. We're gonna do a continuity check on a multimeter. If you don't have a multimeter and you're and you're you're building quadcopters and you're you're putting stuff together and you're 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 tinkering around, yeah, get rid of the stop the smoke stopper. Get a get a multimeter, okay? And then you're gonna want to get a multimeter that has one of these. See that little symbol there? That's a little little buzzer symbol okay this multimeter actually dual function it does diodes and then it also does continuity so let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick let's see how to perform a uh, continuity check correctly so let's go put this on uh, on the function for continuity check and then you see on the screen here it has a diode symbol we're not doing we're not dealing with diodes right now hit the function button you see that little audible looks like a looks like a little speaker symbol that's what you want all right so when you touch these two leads together it'll it'll beep at you okay now if you see the screen here let me see if i can get this turn just right out of my lighting there you go. So when you touch that, see how that's zero, zero, point zero? So zero, zero, point zero. That means there's no resistance, okay? That's a dead short, okay? And then if there's something that, that has resistance, but there's still a short, it will beep. So let's take a, we're gonna just gonna use this as an example. This is a, a TBS Unify. Um, Anyway, VTX, and we're going to do a continuity check on it. So how do we do a continuity check? Let me just slide this out of the way here. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. All right, so we're going to come in here, and we're going to touch our, our hot and our ground, our, our ground here and our hot here, okay? Now you don't see, you don't see or hear anything. If, if you hear that, then you know that this, this isn't no good. The other thing you can do, uh, sometimes if you have a crash, you know, you wonder if your antenna's broken or something's wrong. See, I, zero, zero, point zero, okay? The casing, see I'm on the ground tab. The casing on the VT, on your VTX is, is ground and it should be a good quality ground. Okay, so you know your antenna has a good ground so you didn't snap something off internally. So you can look at other things, but basically you want to check. Now, a quadcopter. Okay, let's pull the Moby Tooth. My, my wonderful, my new little friend. This thing is just too much fun. I mean, it's ridiculous how fun it is. I really didn't think it was going to be any fun, but it's actually a lot of fun. So before we plug in a lipo to anything, we want to check the cotton. All right. So we're just going to grab our our Molex here. Can you see there? Hopefully you can see that. It doesn't matter if you have ground or hot on this. So there's no continuity. Okay, now on a bigger quadcopter, something that's pulling a lot of amps, okay, which would be like my my five inch race drone. When we touch, when we touch the leads to this, there is a capacitor uh, connected to it. See, I, there's no capacitor connected to this guy. Whatever internal capacitance of the board. Now watch what happens when you. When you check the continuity, so stick that on your XT60, and then watch watch this and, and possibly listen. You hear that quick beep? That's a capacitor charging up on this system. Until that capacitor charges up, you're going to have a continuity short inside the capacitor. But now that it's it's fine, see we're overloaded. There's no there's no continuity. There's no current flow between ground and hot. So we know we're good. To, we can plug a lipo into this. If you have a beep or you're like 
zero zero point zero or zero zero point three zero zero point four something like that you 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 know you have a short and you don't want to put a lipo on that you know having this thing solidly beeping away in the background is is not a good thing okay so we want to put these on there and make sure now if if we want to we can we can discharge that capacitor and then we can we can check the capacitor again okay so every time and it just takes a short amount of time for that capacitor to discharge but we can discharge it quickly with that okay so we're good so that's how you do that's how you do a continuity check on a multimeter hey if this video helped you out you know give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you hated it man you, you go ahead and thumb, give me a thumbs down. Enjoy the breeze.